All right, all right. Praise the Lord. God bless everybody. Just coming back once again with a little real talk on this beautiful Sunday night as I give God the honor, the glory, and all the praise. Now, I'm going to say this in this video, and um, this is going to be my last video on talking about drinking because I just have to laugh at a lot of comments. Folks trip me out. And um, I want to title this video, As Long As You and God Got an Understanding, the hell with what everybody else think. As long as you and God got an understanding, the hell with what other folks think. And this is why your personal relationship is so important. See, when we do things in life, we learn to do it in what? Moderation. And we got so many people want to tell you this, want to tell you that. But let me let me pause right here for a moment and, and, and say something very important about Religious people. Religious people is always the ones that want you to act just like them. Religious people are always the ones Jesus had a problem with in the Bible. The religious people always point fingers. Most of the religious people don't even want to forgive. And most religious people want to make their sin look less than the next man or the next woman. So what you do in your house behind closed doors, that's between you and God. And as long as God haven't said he got a problem with you drinking, you listening at your favorite love song, the hell with what everybody else think. See, it's not about other folks. Oh, I wish I could get some people to say amen. And when you get to that point in your life and stop worrying about what this woman said, what this man said, what this pastor said, the hell with all of that. You answer to God. And we seem like we want folk, now let me say it right, folks seem like they want you to answer to them. So as long as what you do is between you and God, the hell with what all these religious folks are saying. This once again is to folks who don't never understand one word that's coming out of my mouth. And they always want to take what I say, flip it, and throw something against me and try to call me a false teacher, a false prophet to hell, or what all y'all think to y'all that do this. Because it don't bother me one bit. You know who I answer to? Last time I checked, God was my boss. And as long as God say, JT, ain't nothing wrong with a glass of wine. JT, ain't nothing wrong with listening to your favorite love about it. JT, ain't nothing wrong with doing your little dance over there. Ain't nothing wrong with this. Ain't nothing wrong with that. The hell with what everybody else think. And it's the religious folks that always say this type of stuff. And now, I'm going to say this again. I hope people understand when I say it ain't about your damn religion. Let me say it like I want to say it. The hell with religion. It ain't about no damn religion in the first place. God never did create it. And if you get mad at the word damn, cut the video off because I don't give a damn. And I mean that out of love and happiness. You cannot steal my joy. See, I'm saying the word damn and folks really understand what that means. And most of y'all claim that y'all don't drink, you don't smoke, you don't get high, but you got a problem with everything else. So if you can learn to face yourself, then you wouldn't have time to point fingers at everybody else. See, I love how Jesus checked them religious leaders, those Pharisees. I love in the book of Matthew how he put them in place. And a lot of times as a child of God, we have to take time and put folks in their place out of love. Now, you might not like the way I deliver my messages sometimes. Oh, well, it might not be for you. But there might be somebody that's listening that could be helped. And just because you don't like it, stop thinking everybody else is not going to like it. Because what you don't like, somebody else might love it. So I just want to just say this and I'll make this my last video about trying to explain about the relationship with God. As long as you got an understanding. But most people, you know why religious people don't get an understanding? Half of them don't study the word of God no way. They just religious. They go to church, just like the Pharisees. All they were concerned about was the law. They were caring about nothing else looked like but the law. And when Jesus healed on that Sabbath, all oh, they had a problem with it. 
They had a problem look like with everything that Jesus did. did. So that let me know that I'm in the right direction because most people got a problem with me. And I thank y'all for that. Because if y'all didn't have a problem with me, I would start to worry about what I'm doing wrong. So when you're doing something right, when you're telling the truth, expect most people to not agree with you. So once again, as long as you got the understanding between you and God, if you want to listen at your music or whatever it is that you do, now I'm not telling you to go out and act the fool and sin and get drunk, hold around. No, I'm not saying none of that. I'm saying it's personal. What you do is what you do. And I'm going to say this again. People need to quit trying to make people do what they do. Well, brother, I quit drinking years ago. Well, that's you. You ain't me. I don't have no problem with that. And yeah, we always want to tell somebody, oh, I've been saved. I've been saved 15 years now. Yeah, you saved. You still, you still cussing at your wife. Um, let me get all the way real. Yeah, you saved and you still on around. You still saved, but yet it's still, you ain't forgave your brother who you ain't spoke to in 20 years. But at the same time, you still talking about your love of God. How can you love God and you don't even love your own brothers and sisters? He said, how can you love me whom face you've never seen? You say you, he said, you are a lie and a truth ain't even in you. So we can see the situation that most religious folks are in right now. And most religious folks with all this pointing fingers, they look like they worse than people in the world that they talking about. I don't see no difference in them in the first place. So with that being said, I don't care what pastor, what evangelist, what prophet. I don't give a damn about your title. Who looking at this video, you got a problem with JT? Oh, well, I don't give a damn. And with that being said, peace, and y'all have a beautiful, blessed night.